All right, everyone, today we're going to be reading a book called Flo and Wendell. Now, if you look at the front cover here, you can see that this is another pretty silly book that I picked because it makes me happy. Today we're going to be thinking about how animals can make us happy in our own lives. Now, this book is about two animals named Flo and Wendell, and they take on the characteristics of a human. They wear clothing, they do different activities that might you might do in your own life. When an animal does this, when they pr almost pretend to be a human, we call that personification. So for any of you who are in third or fourth grade, I want you to look up personification and learn a little bit more about it, all right? For everyone else, let's think about how these animals can make us happy in our own lives. This is Flo and Wendell by William Wegman. This is Flo. What's your name? Is it Flo too? Flo is very sophisticated. She can read and write. She can even tie her shoes. When she was little, she couldn't. She didn't have shoes. You can see Flo here in the baby carriage. That's kind of funny. Flo's father is an artist. He likes to paint. Flo is an artist too. She likes to paint. Flo's mother is wild about knitting. She knit a sweater for Flo and one for their car. Now Flo and their car match. This was one of my favorite pages. I thought it was so silly how Flo and the car each had a sweater because I know a car can't wear a sweater, but it was just something that made me smile. <laughs> This is Flo, Flo's little brother, Wendell. He likes to play hide and seek. Wendell hides and Flo seeks. Sometimes, this is funny how uh, Wendell is hiding up in the tree and Flo can see Wendell, but she still can't get in that one. I thought was funny too. Sometimes Flo doesn't bother. Too much bother looking for brother. Once Wendell hid in a can and got stuck. <gasps> Help! I can't hear you. Flo took her time getting to him. She seems like kind of a bossy older sister. Flo's parents say she is very dramatic. She likes to dress up. Wendell does too. You can see them there in their costumes. That was pretty funny. Abracadabra. Sometimes. Sometimes Wendell has other ideas. Looks like here he likes to do sports and play soccer. Flo and Wendell's parents wish they would find something to do together. Maybe badminton? What about a lemonade stand? Or cooking. Flo and Wendell both like to cook. Flo measures all her ingredients precisely. Wendell is more experimental. Anything goes. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine cleaning up the kitchen after Wendell? He made such a mess on the countertop there. Oh, I would be so annoyed. Flo's cupcakes come out perfectly. Some of Wendell's recipes are better than others. Ooh, I don't know if you can see this um, illustration very closely, but it looks like he combined milk, ketchup, tuna, mayo, and chocolate syrup. I don't think that would be very good. But no matter what, at the end of the day, Flo likes to read and Wendell likes to listen. Sometimes. Oh no, he fell asleep. All right, like we talked about at the beginning, I want you to think about how animals make us happy. I think that this book made me a lot happier than if they were just normal human characters. And if you're looking for a challenge, look up personification and let me know what it means. All right, EVCS, happy reading. I'll see you tomorrow.